Hey everybody, I'm Zach, this is Schmirkadaber, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. We're playing as the Ironclad, let's go. All right, Ironclad, another try, says the whale. Yes, it's always another try. Transform a card, three combats, one HP. Um, I do really like losing 50% of, of my current to gain plus 16 max, but I think I'm gonna transform a card. I'm gonna transform a strike. And we got Pummel. Okay, so we got some exhaust synergy going already. Um, these shops are very early, but I wouldn't mind removing a card. We can go through this way. Or if we go through this way, we get a mini boss. And then an option for a second one or a campfire. Um, could also go this way, and it guarantees a mini boss, then a campfire, then a mini boss. Um,. That seems silly, because if we go this way, we can do an optional campfire if necessary. So let's start here. We're going to stack up some cards, hopefully get some good stuff, and get some synergies rolling. Uh, this is a bad first hand. Uh, we're going to take six damage, but we do get to do a couple of, of good strikes for damage here, which is exciting. All right, Ironclad, make me happy this run, please. Um, this is perfect. We're going to bash to deal vulnerable. And then two damage four times is eight damage. We don't have to defend, so let's go ahead and pummel. And we've already done a real lot of damage. A couple of strikes will finish this guy right off if we can get him, and we should, because we just got to, uh, oh no, it's gonna be random. We just filled our deck back up. So, uh, well, he's defended and that, or rather, yeah, he set up defense and that sucks. We're gonna prevent all this damage um, to try to stay at max health. Um, this turn we should get some strikes or yeah, there we go a bash and a strike. We'll do it All right So we uh, we're gonna take armaments for sure because it's great um, Flame barrier would have been nice, but we want to be able to upgrade our cards having upgraded cards is so good Okay, we're looking at eight damage here. So let's defend let's defend Two damage four times. Um, uh, we don't want to exhaust it quite yet, because if we can get a uh, it vulnerable on this guy, that'll be good. We'll start with the Acid Slime, because uh, we'll be able to finish him off next turn. He'll weaken us. Not a big deal. We're wounded. Also not a big deal. And this turn will take no damage, but we're going to Armament, uh, because we don't have three strikes. We'll upgrade one strike. Um... Four damage to you and six damage to you is not bad. And is he just going to apply another wound? No, he's going to make us frail. And then he's not going to attack again. Uh, we're going to, I guess, three strikes. Yeah, nine, six, and six. And we should be able to kill him quite easily next turn. So this is a, a good couple of starting fights here. A bash will do it. Thank you. Okay. 15 gold and a card. And... Searing Blow, since we got armaments, wouldn't be bad. Um, Whirlwind is okay. It is, it's 5 damage to all enemies, which is really nice. Let's take Whirlwind, um, just in case we run into, like, 3 things in a fight. It'll be very useful if we do. Okay, we are gonna armaments... We're gonna upgrade bash and then we're gonna bash him and this will help quite a bit in bringing him down before he gets too strong so he's gonna attack for six this turn that's totally fine um we can whirlwind for 15 no not worth it we're gonna defend we'll only take one damage let's pummel very good and then we'll strike yeah all right He'll do one damage to us this turn, which is no problem at all. And hopefully, he's vulnerable, so we might even be able to kill him if we get the right cards here. Um, probably not. Armaments to upgrade strike, defend, and then do nine damage. 13 damage. We might have been able to kill him. We would have done 15 plus nine. I don't know. I don't even remember how much health he had, but it doesn't matter. We're going to kill him right now, and we're going to do it with Whirlwind because it's the most fun, and then we'll heal up, get our card, and explode. Dual wield is great. We're going to take... 
Body slam is so good. But we don't have anything to enable it yet. We don't really have anything to enable dual wield either. But I think we'll probably get something. Let's keep going and see what we get next. We got a slaver here. One of the really bad slavers as well. Start off with armaments. And I'm going to upgrade defend. Because um, now defend plus will eliminate all damage. And we still get a hit in. Very good. Okay. All right. He is not... Um, not attacking. So... The highest amount of damage is a strike and then a whirlwind. Actually, it would have been a stri two strikes and a whirlwind. We, we lost one damage there. It's not a huge deal. Uh, we can't attack this turn, which is really, really sucky. Um, let's defend. We're going to take some damage here, and then we'll dual wield pummel um, just to get more of those in our deck. And then we'll end our turn, take some damage, take eight damage. That's 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 real sucky. It's not a huge deal, but it's not good either. Um, we're going to defend, armaments, upgrade strike, give him a whap, and we'll take no damage there. But we are vulnerable. But we should be able to kill him this turn. <coughs> yeah. Um, Pummel does eight Strike does six. Whirlwind does five. That's enough, right? Yeah. Pummel. And even Whirlwind by itself will do it. Let's go. Okay. Uh, we only lost two health in the end. We're going to take a Shrug It Off, because Shrug It Off is super good. And give me something nice here, not a fight. As you walk into a room gurgling, hey, we're going to look for a relic. Spend HP to find a relic, always worth it. And we got Bird Faced Urn. Whenever you play a power, you heal two hit points. And. Do I want to. I could upgrade two cards and avoid a mini boss. I could upgrade one card, hope to get health back here, and do a mini boss here. I think that's the way to go. All right, let's upgrade a card. Smith. Um, we're going to upgrade armaments, of course, because it's great. And move on to this guy. Um, this is good. If we get Whirlwind, we win. Uh, we didn't get Whirlwind. It's unfortunate. But none of them are attacking. So we're actually going to strike, strike, and pummel. And uh, their curl up has now worn off. So they're not going to be able to get any more block. Um, which means, like, a bash kills one, a strike kills this one. Um, even if they all attack next turn, we can probably kill enough of them to not have to worry about it. Um, they're not even all attacking. So... We're gonna start with armaments. We're gonna kill this one. And then... Seven damage and vulnerable, huh? Uh... Dang. I guess if we just defend, we'll take no damage. And I'd like to heal max. You know, I'm not going to get to max hit points, but I can get the maximum am amount of heal by not taking damage. So we're very weak right now, but Whirlwind will actually kill them both. Very, very nice fight. Up to 72. And what do we got here? I'm going to take True Grit, because we've got some exhaust stuff going already. And then we're going to take on this mini-boss. Oh, I still have back in five minutes up. What am I thinking? Oh, boy. Get off of there. Silly streaming, Zach. Um, okay. Uh, boy. I think... Eh, Dual-wielding Whirlwind, probably not worth it. So we'll strike, we'll strike, we'll whirlwind. This guy is the worst, dude. I hate fighting this guy. He is really strong and just hard to deal with. I'm going to drink this strength potion. Um, I am going to use arm armaments to upgrade all my cards. Strike him. And then we'll take no damage if we do this. So let's just do that and hope that we get high damage cards. We, we actually need some high damage cards right now. Um, and Pummel is one of those. That's really good. 
27, huh? We could shrug it off, um, which is solid. But we could also bash him, and then we can pummel him. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. I'll take a hit for 27, um, and hope that we get enough attack cards to kill him next turn and not have to worry about it anymore. Uh, Whirlwind, 7, 14, 21, plus he's vulnerable. That'll kill him. All right. We heal a little. We get every three attacks, gain one dex. That's pretty good. And... We'll take Thunderclap for vulnerable application and see what we get here. The Dreamcatcher. Whenever you rest, you can add a card. That's always really good. No fight. Hey, even better. First time you lose HP in a combat, you draw three cards. And then we're going to go here to upgrade. Smith. And we're going to Smith dual wield because that makes two copies and now we really need to get some zero cost cards um let's go to the question mark it's a fight i'll take the i'll take a fight um i will also take armaments plus we'll take three damage here i could do 16 to both guys um yeah let's do that and we'll take three damage I'm happy to take three damage to be able to speed up this fight. If we can get Whirlwind again, <laughs> we'll be in real good shape. Okay, and I get three extra cards, which is good. Um, two damage four times. This is a lot of defense. Um, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna strike, strike shrug it off end our turn no damage taken and this guy's got 37 health left um for us to deal with and i think we can deal with it pretty easily um we can prevent eight damage with the shrug it off let's do that and then a thunderclap and then a strike probably is our best bet or a bash uh, i think a thunderclap and a strike all right, pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right, one damage, nothing to worry about. And we've got a Whirlwind again, and it's going to kill him. Very nice. Very nice. Whirlwind, good card. Regen Potion, super good. Um, we're going to take Spot Weakness, and it looks like we're going for some strength. Let's upgrade another card. And I think we might upgrade Spot Weakness, actually, because that's super awesome. Um, and what's great is it's a skill. You can gain so much strength with that card if you get it enough. All right. Are they both attacking? Tell me they're not. They are not. Um, okay. I like this. Shrug it off. Defend. We take no damage, and then we spot weakness, and now our attacks are going to do a lot more damage. Um, if we can get spot weakness again, a whirlwind might kill these guys both without any trouble. Uh, we've also got some potions that we can use. I should keep that in mind. Um, they're not doing anything, huh? Uh, let's upgrade all of our cards then, and let's bash this guy. Uh, I don't know. We have the potential to do a real lot of damage very fast. I think that killing this guy, hopefully on the next turn, is going to be the way to go. Now this guy, and he's going to gain some strength and armor, so I wouldn't have been able to do as much damage to him next turn anyway. All right. We're strong. This guy is vulnerable. Um, we need to kill him if we can. Four times, four damage is 16. Uh, six damage four times. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. So Pummel's gonna kill this guy. And then we'll defend, we'll defend, we'll take four damage. And that'll be fine. Alright. No attack? He's attacking. Uh, we get a bunch of cards, though, so that's nice. Can we possibly do 40 damage to him? Probably not. Fourteen... And then this'll deal 19. Not good enough. 
I could defend plus. True grid is nine block, huh? Um, it's unfortunate that we, you know, ugh, not worth it to use a potion. I guess I could kill him with an explosive potion, but I don't think I want to. I think we just defend, defend, and then we strike plus. Yeah, I think that was the right move. We'll take no damage. We want to heal back to as much as we can. We'll probably have to use the next campsite to heal, unfortunately. Um, we can do 27 damage with Whirlwind, so that'll kill him. Oh, his armor, of course. That's all right. He's upgrading himself. He'll get six block. We only have to do 11 damage to finish him off, and I think we're capable of that. Uh, yes. Yes, we are. Okay. Six health back, a strength potion. Let's, um, let's drop the explosive potion and take the strength potion. I forgot to take a card. Oh God, I'm an idiot. Um, we're gonna take a risk here. We're gonna Smith, cause we've got this regen potion. Um, so we're gonna Smith, shrug it off, pummel. We're going to smith pummel. Ah, it exhausts every time, though. Um, we're going to smith... There's Thunderclap. Still one vulnerable. I think we are going to smith pummel. No, let's smith bash. The three vulnerable, an extra turn of vulnerable is really good. Um, especially when you're fighting one guy like this. So I think that was the right choice. Armaments plus is perfect here. Uh, we'll shrug it off, see if we get something good. We got Whirlwind, and then let's strike. Not a good first turn. Um, we might not even need our, our... We might not need any potions. Um, but I'll probably take the Strength Potion. That's probably a smart move. Destroy, destroy, destroy. 32 damage, huh? If we can deal 21 this turn, and we certainly can't. So let's drink this block potion. Um, and then we'll defend. We're just gonna go with three defends. We'll still take a little bit of damage, um, but we'll only take five. That's very tolerable. Okay. We can't spot weakness, um, but we can bash plus and we can probably presume I'm going to take the strength potion because I want this pummel to do extra damage and I'm going to upgrade it as well. Um, that was not a spectacular turn, but I'm thinking we can do 11 damage in one turn um, so that he can't hit us with this super attack again. But yes, we totally can. Strike. Oh, good. Oh, good. And then none of these really do anything. I guess we'll draw a card and see if we get something. Whirlwind, huh? Um, I guess we can add another vulnerable. So we'll do that. All right. And he's going to get thorns now, which is super sucky. Um, so we need defense to even attack him. Um, I'm going to go true grit. We're going to exhaust this regular defend do this one and then we can strike him and uh, he'll do no damage to us this turn not bad not bad at all okay we don't want to pummel this guy that's for sure um, we're gonna shrug it off I hope we get a defend or an armaments will do just fine um, and this way we take no damage, and I'm gonna dual wield Pummel Because I want more of them in the deck since my strength is a little higher Pummel's gonna do more damage, so we'll get them in the deck and uh, And and make sure that we can use those well Okay, 40 damage is what we're looking at here This is uh, we got to use this potion. I think um, We're gonna get more strength and then two defends would defend 10 damage, but I could deal 25 damage. 
I could deal more than 25. I think I'll just tank this damage and uh, deal a lot of damage to him. And next turn, we'll be able to do a whole bunch of damage. If he doesn't attack next turn, yeah, we might wait on dealing lots of damage if we can. Um, no, we're, we'll just deal lots of damage. Uh, Whirlwind is 11 damage three times. That's 33 versus 40. So I guess strike, strike, thunderclap. I should have thunderclapped first. Ah, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I got to get that vulnerable going before I attack. I don't know what it is about the ironclad that makes it hard for me to remember like the order to do this stuff in. Um, he's going to do nine damage. We can prevent all of that. Um, I am, however, uh, do I want to use two grit and deal some damage or do I want to just end my turn? Um, striking, he does three damage back and then I could true grit and get rid of bash, but that would be dumb. Or I could just bash him. Let's just bash him. Let's make him vulnerable. We'll take three damage, but that's not, that's not too, we're going to heal three damage every round anyway. So this is fine. It's fine, everybody. Stop telling me it's not fine and get over it. Uh, okay. We want a spot weakness. We want to shrug it off. Get a defend. We got a pummel. Um, 19 damage would be really solid. We'd take three damage back and we'd take seven damage. I can't believe I got all the pummels. That sucks. Um, let's do some damage. Take a little back. It did 28. That's so good. 12 damage five times is 60, but he's vulnerable. I should have pummeled him. I should have pummeled him. If I can get a pummel next turn, this guy is boned. All right. Sharp hide wears off. 50 to transform. He's going to do 20 damage. Uh, 60 plus 19 is 79. Is he still vulnerable? He is. All right. One pummel finishes him off. We finished the first uh, floor, and I'm feeling good about it. We're going to take offering because it's great and proceed. Hey. All right. Not bad. Um, we're going with uh, the Sozu. We can no longer use potions, but I often forget to use potions, and we have none in our hand anyway. So we've made it to the city, and as usual, we've finished an act, and that's where we end for the day. So thanks for joining in, everybody. You know, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that follow button, and I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I'll see you next time. I can't wait to play more Slay the Spire, and I can't wait to do it with you. Have a great day. Bye.